Hello guys, welcome to my channel The Fin Guy. Today we will be discussing about market cap, EPS and PE ratio. So these three are very important terms to understand the stock market and to understand a company's position. Okay, so let's start. Let's assume that today a company has total 1 lakh of shares. Okay, so let's say that this is 100% of equity. Okay, so a company which is named as A is having 1 lakh shares which is 100% equity. Okay, let's say if current price per share is 200 rupees, then total market cap will be total number of shares multiply by current price of the share. So total market cap will be 1 lakh into 200, which will then become 2 crore rupees, okay, 2 CR. So the total market cap is 2 CR. So, so you understand like what is market cap if you just multiply the total number of shares with the current price. So similarly, if you just go to any company's balance sheet, let's say Reliance, TCS, you will see the market cap as 14 lakhs, 11 lakhs. So the market cap is nothing but total number of shares multiplied by the current price of the share. Now we'll understand what is EPS because in every quarterly meeting, board meeting, they release their quarterly performance right so they then you you will be hearing that they mention that okay for this quarter the eps is 10 rupees or 20 rupees so what is this eps eps is nothing but earning per share okay so eps is nothing but earning per share so what is earning per share that is net profit by total number of shares so let's say for an year we will figure out what is the EPS of that company, right? So let's say net profit for that year is 40 lakhs rupees, right? So you need to divide this net profit. That means 40 lakhs rupees by total number of shares, right? So total number of shares is 1 lakh share. You have total 1 lakh shares. So if you just divide net profit divided by total number of shares then you will get the eps 40 right so this is your eps now we will understand what is price to earning ratio okay this is a very important thing and you will be hearing because sometimes we use pe ratio to understand a valuation of a company okay however this is not the only parameter or the only ratio we we consider to do the valuation but it is important to check pe for that company before investing in it okay so what is pe pe is what is the current price of a share is going so let's say current price is going 200 rupees okay so you divide that by earning per share which is 40 rupees right then your pe will come 5 rupees. It's not 5 rupees. Sorry, your PE will come as 5. So, earning per share is nothing but how much money you are making per share. Right? How much money you are making per share. So that is why we are dividing net profit by total number of shares. Because net profit is how much we are making the profit. Like how much we are earning extra. Right? And we have total number of shares, right? So if you just divide that, then earning per share, like what is the profit you are doing per share, okay? And to know the PE, which is the price to earning ratio, you need to consider the current price which is running for that share, which is 200 rupees. And you just need to divide that by the EPS, that is earning per share, then you will get your PE ratio. So here it is 5. So always like there is a very important thumb rule that do not compare PE of a company with any other company, right? You always need to figure out the industry. Industry is very important, okay? You need to consider that in which in industry my company falls. So let's say 
my company runs an auto ancil ancillary segment, right? So the in industry will be auto industry. So you will need to compare the PE of that company which belongs to the auto industry with a company which also belongs to the auto industry. So that means like as an example, let's say if I if I want to compare a science student versus a science student. So that means a science student's 10th total marks by a science student's 10th total marks, right? So that is why it is very important that whenever you are comparing a PE of a company, do not compare it with uh, different uh, companies which belongs to a different sector or a different industry, okay? You always need to consider or you always need to compare a PE with the industry PE. That means for that industry, let's say in that industry, I have uh, six companies, okay? A, B, C, D, E, and F. Let's, let's say we have total six companies, right? So you do the average of these six companies PE, then you will get the industry PE, okay? So you got it. So always compare that industry PE with your company's PE for that sector, okay, or for that industry. Then it will be a right comparison to understand the valuation. Though PE is not the only criteria which we should see, you know, uh, to check the valuation. There are also other things which is ROCE, ROE, okay, which we will be covering in next session. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. You have understood these key terms. So in case if you have any doubt, please do comment in the section and please do let me know if you want me to cover any uh, other topics in the share market. So I'll be happy, happy to do that. So please do subscribe my channel and also like the video. Thank you.